What is going on, everybody? JMH music lovers across the world. Hey, y'all wanted something like this. Y'all wanted to see more of the process. So we're bringing the vlogs to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is just gonna be me just working. It's probably gonna be a little bit boring, but maybe it won't. Maybe you'll glean from it. You have to like look at the title to know what I'm actually working on. This week I'm working on uh, I'll Be Your Eyes, which by the time you see this video, that song will be out. So I hope you enjoy the process. I'm like halfway through, so I gotta finish cutting a vocal and then finish production and uh and then we'll be we'll be golden hope you enjoy but i don't love you because you're beautiful i love you because you don't know how beautiful you are yes you're beautiful yes you're beautiful yes you're beautiful but i don't love you because you're beautiful no you don't open up scared of the world mm. Ooh, it could be kind of cool to bring some bass in. Like, I want to keep this track sparse, you know? But, like, I still wanted to have the right elements. Bass time coop. Brother Coop. What's up? On this chorus of I'll Be Your Eyes, I could, like, maybe hear some movement. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear this bass, but I'll just, I'll play kind of what I was thinking, maybe. Okay. Girl. Yes, you're beautiful, but I love you cause you're beautiful I love you cause you don't know how beautiful you are So let me show ya, I'll be your mirror And when your insecurities are making you blind I'll be your eyes You like it? Sounds really good. Alright, cool. Okay, I'll do it then. I'll do it. Yes, yeah, so pianos have a little bit more high end than them, so sometimes, like, if there's a muddy bass part, like, the low notes in the piano help a lot. So much to show, but you don't show it off. No, you don't open up. Don't show it off. It's like more clear now. So no, you don't know. This city's bigger than you thought it was. How could you? I'm gonna add just like a really faint harmony right there. It kind of breaks verse one rules of being like completely harmony list, but whatever. This city's bigger than you thought it was. This city's bigger than you thought it was. How could you think you're not enough? Gotta tell you, girl. Yes, you're beautiful, but I love you because you're beautiful. Yeah, okay, yeah, because it's funny, like, the, the more I listen to this, like, the more I just want to take away some of these bass changes, you know? I love you because you don't know how beautiful you are. So let me show you. Like most people would be so quick to add just like patches and pianos and synths and like all the stuff to a track like this, but I feel like it's one of them things where it's like I love the song so much, like I don't want to mess it up. So I want to take each element that's added and I want each element to like make sense and to be amazing, like almost like a standalone. You know what I'm saying? Like I could solo out this piano thing, I could listen to just this for two and a half minutes. And I think that's the point. Like you want to, every element in the song, you want to be able to listen to it, you know? Like I want each element to be strategically beautiful because I don't want to just fill the mix for filling the mix sake, you know? It's such a pretty patch, man. It's like a lot like the song too because it's kind of like a, like on purpose messed up piano sound, like notes are out of tune and stuff. But it's like, that's the whole idea of the song, you know? It's like someone who's beautiful, but they don't know how they're beautiful. But like something like this, like out of tune and, and as it is, like can appre be appreciated as something that's actually very beautiful. Not always that introspective with random tracks like that, but I just feel like that ties into the song so much. Yes, you're beautiful, but I don't love you because you're beautiful. I love you because you don't know. Well, everybody, that is um, just a few hours of the process. I think the takeaways I hope you guys have is don't rush the process. Just because I'm someone who has a high output, a song a week, you know, piece of content every day, and there's all these edits and all these things going on, it doesn't mean that I'm rushing it at any point. Like, I really like to spend my time taking my time for each and every single element. Like, I, I don't mind, like, if the whole video is me working on that one bass track and changing, like, one, like spending 10 minutes to figure out if I want to change one note on the bass. I want every single piece of everything that I put out and, like, art that I make to, to be amazing. And so, 
I just want to encourage all you guys, take your time with what you're doing. Sometimes you're going to write songs and they're going to come out in a few hours and the whole thing's going to be completely done and like you know what you're doing, you know? And then uh, sometimes like days like this, like we wrote this song in like 30 minutes, but production wise, it sparks and like normally something like this would be done quickly, but I want to make sure I take my time with it because it's a sparse song. I don't want to just add a bunch of stuff in. I want each element to count. So I would just encourage you guys, make each and every element count. Make sure everything's helping you tell a story that you're trying to tell with your song. And uh, don't be afraid to spend some time on stuff. Yeah, until next week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, yeah, see you next time. I'll be your